Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be looking at the basic arithmetic operations, right? The first one is addition. Okay, so we're going to be adding numbers. And to add means to find the sum, right? So what is the sum? So basically we're going to find the sum of these two numbers. Let's look at them. We're going to use 7 plus 9 right and we need to find the sum of these two numbers so if we add 7 and 9 uh, we should get 16 right so the sum of the numbers the sum of 7 and 9 it's equal to 16 cool Pretty easy. Let's do some more addition here. 2 plus 4 should be equal to 6. 4 plus 1 should be equal to 5. Right? Cool. Not bad at all. So adding is clearly very easy. Right? Alright, so let's move on to subtraction. Okay, cool. So the next thing is subtraction. When you subtract two numbers, let's say we have 7 minus, which is the subtraction sign minus 5 this should you should take away whatever is here from this number right so basically you're finding the difference between the two numbers cool all right so in this case 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 right great awesome so let's do some more let's say 16 minus 12 this should be equal to 4 let's say 12 minus 3 it should be equal to 9. And let's say we have 14 minus 15, right? This is a little different here. What should we get? What's the difference? Right, so we should get the difference being minus 1. Cool? Because when you subtract 14 from 15, you should get a negative 1. Now, let me explain this. Suppose you have 14 oranges. Cool? And... Your mom called and said, hey, Mark, I actually need 15 oranges. Cool. So you give her the 14 oranges and you got to find the 15th, right? So basically at this point, you're at negative one oranges. Cool. And what you're going to have to do is like go outside and pick another orange or go to the supermarket and buy an orange, right? So that's pretty much how we get negative numbers when we're in a deficit, pretty much. Meaning that we owe someone you know think of think of negative numbers in that way we owe somebody something so negative two we owe them two oranges think of negative numbers in that way cool all right so we're going to move on to multiplication now so when you multiply numbers you find the product right of two numbers right so remember with addition we'll find the sum with subtraction, we'll find the difference, right? And with multiplication, multiplication, you're gonna find the product, okay? Now, what does this mean? Three multiplied by four would give us the product, right? Uh, which is, it should be 12, right? All right, so the product is clearly 12, cool. So let's do some more. Uh, let's say 3 multiplied by 1. This should give us 3. 3 multiplied by 9. That should be 27. And let's say 9 multiplied by 2. That should be 18. Cool. But let's multiply some negative numbers over here to give us a, a different outlook. right? Let's say we have negative 3 multiplied by 4 cool we're gonna get negative 12 cool and let's say we have negative 9 multiplied by 2 we're gonna get negative 18 also let's multiply two negative numbers let's multiply negative 3 by negative 3 now when you multiply two negative numbers you get a positive number so this would actually be positive 5 I mean, positive 9. Cool. 
So anytime you multiply negative numbers, right, negative 1 times negative 10, you should get a positive number, which is positive 10. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much multiplication. We're pretty much finished there. All right, guys, so we're doing division now. And for division, we're actually going to find the quotient, right? Cool. So let me just show you the division symbol, right? The division symbol now is going to look like this. Uh, 8 divided by 2. Cool. So this is the division symbol. Uh, some people uh, use 8 divided by 2. The slash could be the division symbol as well. And most people just use it this way, saying 8 divided by 2. right? So this is also the division symbol as well. So many times it's you know, rotated, but most times it's going to be these two, right? You, you're rarely going to see these. You probably see these in like computer science or IT, but you don't really see it as much as these two, right? So let's just clear this and focus on these two symbols. All right, so we're going to focus on these two symbols. So 8 divided by 2 would give you 4, and 4 divided by 2 would give you 2, right? Cool. All right, let's do some other divisions 9 divided by 3 would give us 3 right 18 divided by 18 would give us 1 right so that's division in a nutshell right and this here the answer is the quotient cool all right so yeah not too bad pretty easy uh, we're gonna move on to more complicated stuff obviously but I want to speak about uh, this equal sign okay let's talk about the equal sign okay so we finished all the basic ar arithmetic operations here but we're gonna just talk about the equal sign right let's say you have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 right clearly it's equal to 6 now anytime you're moving a number let's say this 2 wants to go over on this side right it wants to be friends with number six, right? So you're going to move the two over to the right side, right? Based on this equality symbol. Anytime you're moving a number over to the other side, the symbol changes. So this is a positive two over this side. But when you have six here, you should get a negative two over this side, right? So you're going to end up with four is equal to four, right? Which makes sense. So basically, with this equality sign, you need to make sure that when you have a positive number and you carry it over to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes a negative number, right? That's really important, guys. Very important, right? Very important, okay? All right, so let's look at a negative number in this way as well. So you have 12 minus 2 is equal to 10, right? 12 minus 2 is definitely equal to 10. Now, when you have this equality symbol here, let's say I want this 2 to go over to the 10, right? The two, the negative 2 wants to be friends with the 10 here. Um, you carry the 2 over the other side, but it's no longer going to be negative. It's going to be positive. So you're going to have 10 plus 2, right? And that shows 12 is equal to 12, which is right, right? So if you carried this negative 2 over to the right side and you left it as negative 2, you would end up getting 12 is equal to 10 minus 2, right? Which is 12 is equal to 8. But 12 is not equal to 8, so clearly this is wrong. Cool. So in general, anytime you're moving any negative or positive number to the other side of the equation, the symbol changes. Cool. So this here is correct on the left side, and this here that I'm erasing isn't correct. Cool. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the end of the video. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest. And I'll see you in the next video.